in the soil, I'll take it together. Uh, from Partha Sarathi. Ah, there you are. Uh, my question is about quitting. Join. <laughs> First, yeah, it's about quitting. All right. If someone is sold, I mean, I'm assuming what, what, what you're uh, trying to say is if, if you're being sold wrongly by the salesperson, like, like, what, what, yeah, like what he said, it might be best for everybody else, but not for you. Yeah. So how to go for it? Should we quit immediately, or should we try to gain some perspective? I'm saying a related area. So what do you do when you join a job and then find out that something is not what you thought it would be? The heaven and hell example of those two. So we like to, yeah. Thank you. I didn't uh, realize that it was such a wonderful subject to be spoken about. <laughs> uh, no, I think very pertinent. And I thank you both for asking this question. Uh, I think there are times, uh, you know, when uh, you get into a situation of asking, is this job cut out for me or not? Uh, and we have some issues. Uh, we hire a lot of engineers from campus for doing some of our claims related work. Now, you know, what is a claims related job? It's nothing but when you start off, you actually get in, get below the car and understand what are the parts of the car in the first case. And uh, secondly, once you understand that, uh, you have to understand what if, if there is an accident where what are the kind of forces that are going to apply on the car and what are the areas that are going to get damaged. Now, after about six months of you know going from one garage to the other, sometimes the engineer says, I'm not cut out for this job. Is this the job that I want to do? Going under cars, checking physical forces of how the accident happens and what's kind of the estimate. But you know, the there are times when, you know, when that happens, I think it's important to go back and ask or have a meeting or a discussion with the manager and be frank about sharing your concern. I think sometimes what happens is, you know, when you enter an organization, uh, often you get into a situation where you're saying, oh, how do I answer, how do I ask this question? Will it be stupid? You know, no question is stupid. You know, you've got to come out of the fear. I, someone spoke about fear. Yeah. I think it's the fear. Just ask the question. You know, how does how is it going to help me? How is what is in it for me if I do this today? And how long do I have to do this? And what's in it for me if I do this? Is it going to help me in my career? Because I, I'm sure that when you hurt the salesman, and I'm taking the salesman's pitch for the right pitch right now, and if you hurt when you hurt the salesman, I'm sure you you know decided that you know this is the industry that I want to join. I'm sure you, you didn't join uh, financial services when you actually wanted to join FNC. You know, I'm sure you joined a financial services company uh, for a certain reason. And if you want to pursue your career, I think the best thing is to you know, you know, be focused. And as uh, as I think Kumesh mentioned at the beginning, you know, the first few years just observe, listen, learn more, ask as many questions. I, I thought uh, uh, Anish uh, uh, spoke about the question of why. You know, ask the question. I think be inquisitive. How is it going to help me? And then, you know, after some time, see if it's going to help you. Often, you know, what happens is today, in today's generation, people try to, you know, take impulse decisions of quitting, which may not be the right thing, because you don't know what the organization has in store for you. If you were one of those bright students who was asking all the right questions, and at the end of the year making you a manager or a supervisor of a team, and builds you into your leadership position, I think that's where you need to stay invested. You know, careers is like a sip. You need to invest on it, day in and day out, and then see if the organization is really able to add value to you or not. And if you are able to add value to the organization, I think, it's important to ask the question.